Hey everyone, so this is my 10th month on testosterone video. Um, it's been 10 months, next month will be my 11th month, and next month I get to go have top surgery. I'm getting really stoked about that and can hardly wait. I spent the day today down um, with my doctor and my therapist. Um, now that it's a month away, the uh, plastic surgeon wanted to have a bunch of blood work done, wanted a medical clearance from my doctor and a therapist letter from my psychologist stating that I'm of sound mind and know what I'm doing and need to have this done. So got to spend the day making sure all of that, those ducks were in a row. Um, I'm going to be having my surgery with Dr. Uh, Garamoni down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm really excited to go down there. I've been doing a lot of research and he seems to be the newest up-and-coming F2M surgery, uh, plastic surgeon. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, yeah, so that's what I've been living my life around. We've got plane tickets. We've got our hotel set up. About the only thing I haven't done yet is is uh, get a rental car set up. But I think I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, so if anybody's done any fun things down in Fort Lauderdale, I've got a week to spend down there after surgery, um, waiting until I can have my drains removed, and then once those are removed, I'll be able to come back home, and my doctor will be able to oversee the rest of my recovery. So if you have any ideas for what I should do or see or where Christine and I should go while we're down there, We'd love to have any comments or suggestions. Um, yeah, so other than that, it's just been work and kids and school and snow. I'm so tired of snow. We're supposed to get another two to six inches tonight. But <laughs> I've been working out, and so now I go out to shovel snow, and it's no big deal as far as the I don't come in all sore and the back that's been thrown out because I can I can heft the stuff really easy now and quite quickly compared to the way I used to so that's kind of fun I have been working out at the Y I've been trying to build up my pec muscles just so that the Dr. Garamoni will have a nice pec line to be able to follow when he's doing um, my chest reconstruction so I'm looking forward to showing off some pecs once I get my uh, my surgery done. Um, what else? My voice still continues to get lower. It's funny now, it's dropped to the point where I'll say certain phrases or respond to the kids and it sounds like my dad's voice is coming out of my my mouth. <laughs> and it really throws me for a loop because, I mean, how many people really want to sound like their parents? <laughs> oh, but uh, I guess it could be worse. It's just it really catches me off guard when I when I snap at one of the kids and it sounds just like my father's voice coming out. But yeah, they're having fun watching me watching me change. The kids are getting excited. They want to. I, I show off how many push-ups I can do and. They want to get on my back and ride on, <laughs> ride on my back as I'm doing push-ups. And I'm, tell, I'm telling, oops, I'm not supposed to say your name. Our youngest uh, wants to, has been asking if she can sit on my back yet. And I keep telling her, no, not, not quite yet. I'm not quite that strong yet. Our oldest turns 14 next month, and he started going to the Y with me this month and uh, working out. He thinks it's pretty cool to be lifting weights. So... We're having fun going and doing that together. Um, other news. Just the same old, same old. Just trying to get by. Our hours were cut back at work. They laid off about five people at work. It sounds like they might be wanting to lay off more, but I'm thinking my job's pretty secure. There's only two of us in my department, and we switch off who has their days off so that there's always a person in the FDA department there so I'm hoping my job's secure 
it would really suck to lose my job right before having surgery done because we're relying on on that income to help pay down the bills and mm, I, I feel for everybody who's losing their jobs I don't know how the economy is I know that all over America the economy is is struggling right now but here in Michigan it really sucks the jobless rate is one of the highest in the nations and it's just getting worse with all of the problems that the uh, car companies are having so for those of you who've lost your jobs or are struggling to get jobs I, I'm sorry it's it's really tough out there right now I know um, anyway I was trying to think of what other things I wanted to share so I hope you guys are doing alright and I look forward to doing some more videos next month both pre-op and post-op and I'm just getting excited I want to get this done so that I can get my gender marker changed on my driver's license and on my social security card and getting my birth certificate changed I'm looking forward to filing taxes next year as a couple with Christine instead of individually as we're doing as we've had to do for the last three years so counting down the days till that we've been talking about getting married again we were married once out in Canada back in 2006 but you know it's not recognized in the United States it's definitely not recognized in Michigan they passed one of those stupid defensive again defensive marriage acts so nobody here recognizes our marriage either so rather than go to Canada and, and pay the money that it would take to certify my gender change and get all the paperwork changed we're just gonna go and get remarried here in the states once my birth certificate reflects my gender status so we're looking about August if, if we can get all the paperwork done and all the legalities taken care of looking forward to that anyway so I hope everybody's doing well and I look forward to sharing more with you next month take care bye